This is my 2014 Volkswagen Transport van, which was a dream of mine, which I chased for three years. Since owning this van, we have had plenty of fun in it and encountered some issues along the way. It went to its first car show, tucked at the museum, and became an official sponsored vehicle for Auto Finesse. We spent a night in a campsite sleeping in it. Woman Wheels gave us some style with some fresh chrome powder coat on the wheels. Not forgetting the fact that the van actually almost caught fire when we went on our camp trip recently. So today, we need to get the wheel off, check the brakes out, and see if we can't diagnose what's going on with this thing. But before we delve into this thing and try and find out what the issue is, I thought we're probably best to come on a little test drive just to see if it does it again. We went camping recently, which is when the brakes got really hot, we're on the verge of catching fire. But previous to that, the last time we drove it was to Warwickshire, tucked at the museum, British Motor Museum, which I think is about 180 miles there, and 180 miles obviously coming back. So it did do a lot of driving. It's the longest trip I've ever had with the van. I mean, it's done 170 or 1,000 miles, so it's definitely not short of doing long trips in its time. But as time goes on, things deteriorate, things go wrong. So it's just one of them, one of them things. The brakes on this, they aren't standard transporter, I don't think. Could possibly be the same um, calipers, but the discs may be uprighted. They look like they're vented, and I think they're grooved with drill discs also, so it's good for getting the heat out, which could mean that if we didn't have them, the brakes might have even got hotter than 300 degrees. The brakes work by a caliper, which has two pads in it, which is controlled by a piston, which when you put your foot on the brake pedal, hydraulic fluid pushes through the hose and then pushes the piston, which then in turn clamps the two pads on the disc, making the disc obviously slow down, which obviously in turn stops your car from going. I have had it in the past where the piston inside the caliper can get seized. You can actually, in fact, have them refurbished, get them all polished up, make the piston all nice again, rebuilt up, and I normally use brake caliper specialists for that, but hopefully we can whip the caliper off, have a look at the brakes, and we may even be able to just clear it up, put some grease in there, and get it working how it should. But we'll carry on this road test. We'll see if we can re-enact the problem, recreate it, and if we don't, we're still gonna to have to take the brakes apart and investigate because there obviously is an issue there. And even if we just take them off, clean it up, then that'll be fine. Fingers crossed it will resolve it. Just on the topic of tucked, I actually really enjoyed it. I wasn't gonna show the van at all this year, but I actually really enjoyed it. Besides getting in for players, which I had no choice but to apply for because the Brasilia has been accepted into it a couple of years on the trot now. But family holidays have got in the way of that both them times. So we will be showing the van at players because that is one show I've been told is one not to miss. But apart from players, is there any other shows that you reckon we should probably get the van to? Tucked at the uh, at the house, is that the house museum? No, tucked at the manor? Tucked at the manor. Tucked at the manor is another good one. My only problem with that is the fact that it's on a field on a stately home or a manor. Um, and I am a bit worried about the van on the grass there. But I guess it could be doable, I'm not sure. What other ones have we got? Can't think, my, my mind has gone completely blank. So if there's any other car shows you think we should attend to, then let us know in the comments down below, tell us. Now, I want to try and get stuff pre-June because the fate of this van is unknown yet. And if I book stuff later than that, then that could mess up possible future plans. 
obviously not forgetting gravity jordan if you're watching this i haven't forgotten about you mate I haven't forgot about gravity it's just that like i said i want to try and get things in before june time because i don't know what's happening yet so stay tuned for that but for now we need to get back home and get the brakes off this thing why do i have the feeling that this five minute job is going to end up being one of them which becomes an absolute drama but hey we need to get the van up on a bit of wood which will give us the clearance that we need to get the jack underneath. Firstly, we're gonna break off the wheel nuts whilst there's pressure on the wheel so we can actually break them off with the force we need without the wheel spinning. Once they're broken off, we can get the jack in place which will then allow us to lift the car up. With my half a jack handle, we then get ahead with lifting the car up and then using the impact gun to remove the wheel bolts. We then take the wheel off the van and then it all went wrong. <sighs> Bit of a... Uh sour pill to swallow this one i've just curbed or scraped the wheels on the gravel it was at this moment i knew i f***ed up I've taken the paint off there 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 scuffed it there this is a absolute disaster I had it balanced on the car, on the van. It's been there for ages. I'd balanced it perfectly, thought it wasn't going anywhere. I was then going back to film the shot of me taking it off and then it face planted the floor. I have scuffed the back as well, but I'm not too fussed about the back because no one sees that, but I have scuffed the back side there and there where it's hit the brake disc. So, I am not very happy. And if you're watching this warm and wheels, I'm so sorry. Not a good way to start my day. But let's focus on the positives and get this thing fixed. So we clamped up the brake lines to stop the fluid from coming out. We've removed the retaining clip for the pads. We're now undoing the T45 Torx bits sliders, which hold the caliper to the carrier. With them removed, we can now prise off the brake caliper from the disc. It was a little bit stiff, but we did get there in the end. With the caliper off on the bench, we can now make a start on seeing if we can fix this thing. So we made a start by squirting WD-40 around the rubber seal and down the side of the piston to see if this would lubricate it enough to be able to slide it in and out freely, fixing our problem. I then reinstated the caliper back on the van to press the pedal to push the piston out further, allowing us to have more access around it to get some WD-40 more deep seated to hopefully loosen this thing up. With the caliper out fully, we can get a good douse of WD-40 right in there and it actually looks really clean. The piston itself looks really new. With the piston back on the bench, it was time to return the piston to the inside of the caliper. Now it was all lubricated up. But as you can see here, it turned out to be a little bit more difficult than it should normally be. Remember I said I thought it was going to be one of them jobs that we should have been five minutes that turned out to be a drama? Well, this was soon becoming one of those. It looks as though the transporter isn't going anywhere. So the piston was on the wonk inside the caliper. I think I may have extended it too far out of the housing, but it's a good job I did because I knocked it out and the inside rim of the caliper is absolutely grotty, rusty. So that needs sorting. I can't get a seal kit anywhere in a shop like across the counter which meant i had to order one online from autodoc but it's going to probably take three to five days to get here so that means we're in limbo with the van but we can speed up the process a little bit by getting the caliper ready to receive the new seal so it's fresh ready to rebuild it when that comes for now let's crack on with that caliper make it look nice again making this thing look nice wasn't our priority but it went hand in hand with having it working properly Using some WD-40 and some sandpaper, we made sure the inside of the caliper was smooth, allowing the piston to retract nice and easily inside the caliper housing. Once that was looking good, we then turned our attention to the outer rim of the caliper, using some tougher coarse sandpaper because that was in worse state. 
We then turned our attention to the piston, which you can see has got some surface rust, which will hold that up from sliding in nicely. Talking on sliding, we then made sure the sliders looked good, and then once they were done, we had a set of brakes ready to go back on when the new seal kit arrived. Seal kits arrived, and judging by the box, you'd probably expect us to have bought a new caliper by the size of it. We've managed to save an absolute fortune because I reckon a new caliper for this thing is probably around two to three hundred pound, and the seal kit only costs us 16, so that sits well with me. But for now, we need to get the kit mounted on the caliper and then get the caliper put back on the van. The brakes are all back together on the van, but unfortunately, because we took the caliper off, we do have some air in the system, which means we need to bleed the brakes out to make sure we have a firm pedal and make sure there's no air in the system. So I'm gonna get my glamorous assistant, Shania. She's just frowned at me. And we're gonna get the brakes bled on this thing. So I need you to come and sit inside. Why? Yeah. I'll tell you in a second. Basket. You're on the camera, by the way. The YouTubers are watching us argue. They might think we're not very stable, you know. We're not. Aren't we? <laughs> you dumped. <laughs> so I need you to get in there. I lost the one. You've got to press a brake pedal for me. <gasps> Put the window down so we can hear each other. I which one's the brake. The one in the middle. <laughs> Forgot which one's the brake, everyone. Should I right? So, put your foot on the brake and I'll tell you to brake or not to brake, yeah? yeah? And then whilst you're doing that, I'm doing some wizardry down the bottom here. All right, All right, so foot on the brake, press hard to the floor. Hang on, keep, keep your foot down. Still hard to the floor? Yeah. Yeah, keep it there. Now pump. Pump? Huh. Yeah, keep pumping the pedal. Keep pumping, does it feel hard? Thanks to my glamorous assistant, the brakes are now working absolutely tip top on these. Now, fingers crossed, we won't have any more issues with the brakes sticking. But unfortunately, that is all we have got time for this week. So if you have enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button down below. Check out some of the other videos on the channel, check out Auto Finesse, Lowdown Transporters, but most importantly, we will catch you guys in the next one.